Hello, in this video we are going to download towns and cities from OpenStreetMap and we're going to style them. Open the Quick OSM plugin using the icon and there use as a key place this value city. Choose for the extent, the layer extent and use the DEM because we need to have some places a bit also outside of our catchment boundary. Choose points as features and run the query. Now do it for value town in the same way and close the dialog. We're first going to export our point layers to a geo package. So here I take the towns and we save it in our raw data geo package, give it the layer name towns and change the projection to the project. Click OK. Remove the temporary towns layer. Repeat this for the cities, so export the features to the geo package, choose the raw data geo package, give us a layer name cities and change the output projection to the one of the project and remove the original temporary layer for the cities. Let's style the cities. Go to the layer styling panel and for a simple marker we choose the topo pop capital which you can find under the favorites. As you can see it consists of two layers of styling, a point and a circle. Let's also label this one using single labels and choose name. Now the cities are styled and the labels with the names of those cities are added. But we need to tweak a little bit the styling of those labels. We'll use Calibri as a font with a size 9 and we'll make it bold. We also add a text buffer. Instead of a white buffer, we're going to change the buffer to a grayscale using value 191 for RG and B. And then we switch on the blending and we change the blending to soft light. And this gives a nice effect and more readable labels. Let's change the placement settings. And we'll increase the distance with 2.5. Let's repeat this for towns but with a different symbol and different labels. First change to all symbols and then use Topo Pop City. Then go to the labels, change to single labels and choose name. For the font, choose Calibri and choose for the size 8 points. We will do the same with the text buffer as we did with the cities. We change it to grey and we use the blending with the soft light to make it more readable. Finally we change the placement to 2 mm distance. And in the placement engine settings, we can uncheck the box to allow truncated uh, labels. And that applies to both layers. So in this video, you've learned to download the cities and towns from OpenStreetMap and to apply styling and labels.